Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of Ingenious Academy. So guys, in our previous videos, we have seen the lot of educational stuffs, lot of uh, like the videos which is related to your education. But right now, over here in this video, I am going to talk about another invention and another like the advanced invention. I think that this particular invention has to be like uh, I should make a particular video on this particular invention. So guys, over here, I am going to talk about the Tesla coil, the coil which can conduct electricity, which can produce electricity and which can emit and transmit, which can transmit electricity wirelessly. So guys, over here in this video, I'm going to talk about the Tesla coil. So guys, this particular Tesla coil is invented by the famous mechanical engineer, electrical engineer, famous physicist, famous scientist that is named after the Nikola Tesla. In 1891, he invented this particular coil, which can transmit this particular uh, electrical energy wirelessly. So guys, in the 18th century, there was a problem regarding the DC current. So it, Thomas Edison invented the DC current and uh, he make, made the DC generators. The problem with the DC generator is that like over a longer distances, we cannot be able to transmit the electricity. Uh, just uh, in case of the DC, there will be a voltage drop, which is very much on the higher side. So that is the reason we cannot be, we cannot able to, we not able, not being able to conduct this particular electricity over the uh, longer distances. So guys, Nikola Tesla, he is the scientist, he invented this particular alternating current current alongside the like the induction uh, motor AC induction motor so guys this is the alternating current like is that particular current and uh, this particular current they can be able to transmit uh, through across the across the longer distances without having considerable voltage drop so guys after inventing this particular alternating current Tesla wants to carry out this particular research in the electricity upon electricity and Tesla wants to conduct this particular electricity wirelessly. So, so that was the point where the Tesla idea of this Tesla coil is born. So guys, welcome back to the another video of my Ingenious Academy. And guys, if you're new to my educational channel over here, you can just click on the subscribe button and just like guys, please press the bell icon also. So guys, over here in this video, I'm going to talk about the Tesla coil, its principal working advantages, disadvantages, and its construction basically. So guys, without wasting any time, let's begin with our today's topic that is of Tesla coil. So guys, Tesla coil is the coil which can be able to like the transmit electricity wirelessly from one location to another location. There is no direct physical connection between these two coils or else there is no direct connection between these two transmitting sources. That is the transmitting sources. So basically the idea of Tesla coil is to transmit electricity wirelessly from one location to another location. So basically the scientific name of the Tesla coil is nothing but the resonating transformer circuit. So over here this particular Tesla coil is named as resonating transmitter circuit which produces the higher voltages such as the voltages in millions which produces higher voltages, low current and high frequency alternating current. So guys this is nothing but the Tesla coil. So guys, there is no constant design of the Tesla coil. You can see the Tesla coil in various configurations such as the in a single coil configuration or in the double coil configuration. In, the, in case of double coil con con configuration, there is primary coil and the secondary coil such as in a case of transformer circuit. So guys, there is no constant like a design uh, for the Tesla coil. So guys, you have to understand that when current flows through a coil, okay, and the coil is a good conductor basically let's say a copper wire so when a current flows through that particular copper wire uh, and if we across if we apply a potential difference between the these two uh, like the terminals of this copper wire the there will be a magnetic flux gets induced in that particular copper wire so it is called as a solenoid and if we apply a magnet between this uh, two between the solenoid okay the there will be a voltage the variation of the voltage you can see over here this the very voltage will be vary over here so guys this is the primary principle behind the working of the tesla coil so guys over here this particular tesla coil is nothing but the resonating transformer circuit so guys over here if i if we say that this is a transformer in case of conventional transformer this particular transformer consists of a primary coil 
secondary coil and this primary coil and the secondary coils are uh, uh, like the wrap around this particular core iron core so and this particular cores are having the laminations different laminations so this particular primary coil is there and the secondary coil is there the primary coils are having the number of turns which are considerably less than that of secondary coil the secondary coil produces voltage which directly proportional to the number of coils if the number of coils are more then the voltage produced will be more uh, in that particular transformer in such a cases this particular transformer is considered as a step up transformer and if the number of coils are less and which will produce the less voltage than that of the primary coil then in that case the uh, that particular transformer can be called as a step down transformer so guys over here in case of uh, transformer if we apply like uh, if we apply the power source to the primary coil the electromotive force gets generated over here in the primary coil and due to that uh, uh, iron core okay this particular uh, emf induced or we can call it as a magnetic flux induced this will travel from this primary coil to the secondary coil and due to the number of turns in the secondary coil the voltage will get induced in the secondary coil alongside of the alternating current the voltage will increase as the number of turns increases over here so guys this is nothing but the basic principle behind the working of this transformer so when i say this particular tesla coil is also a type of transformer to be precise it is a resonating transformer so over here in case of tesla coil there are two coils first one is the primary coil secondary coil the primary coil is connected to the your uh, capacitors and also the secondary coil is also connected to another capacitor so guys this particular uh, like the function of the capacitor is to store the charge so guys over here in this case this capacitors will act as a battery and uh, when that particular primary coil is connected to the power supply the power supply uh, the current will flow through the primary primary coil and then particular this particular current will charge this particular capacitor and up to a certain limit when this particular capacitor is gets fully charged it releases back this particular energy and guys the main function is that in, in case of this tesla coil the primary coil and the secondary coil there is a spark gap which needs to be maintained over here so guys over here i'm talking about this particular tesla coil with two coils configuration so in this case this particular primary coil and the secondary coil and there is a sufficient spark gap is maintained over here in this tesla coil so guys the spark gap like it is like around 2 mm 3 mm or else the variation of the spark gap where is the output voltage in tesla coil so guys over here the sufficient spark gap is maintained so when this capacitor gets fully charged you know the electrons or else electricity gets jumped from this spark gap towards the secondary coil when before jumping that's uh, electricity a magnetic flux the emf gets induced in the primary coil so when the electron jumps from this primary coil to secondary coil the magnetic flux also travels to the secondary coil and due to the more number of turns in secondary coil the emf induced in that particular secondary coil enhances over here this emf will increase over here and due to the number of the turns the potential difference also increases over here so guys you can see over here this is you know just a long cylindrical and just uh, these are the number of turns over here like uh, it will be around 1000 to 10000 these are the number of turns as this particular number of turns increases the output voltage over here will be increased so guys this particular uh, current will flow through this secondary coil and guys when this uh, particular current is flowing through the secondary coil there on the top of the coil there will be a top load which is like a, which is just like a donut shape and due to that you know one can produce the this particular lightning shows just like a uh, lightning showers or as we can call it as a thunderstorm lightning like we can also produce this thunderstorm lightning over here in this case due to this donut shape which is called as a top load basically so guys over here you have to understand that over here these are the uh, that is nothing but the working of this particular tesla coil but guys over here you have to understand that when we apply a starting current like the ac mains to the primary coil the primary co current from the primary coil like charges the capacitor and when this capacitor discharges okay 
discharges the secondary coil gets uh, like the fully charged over here and in the case of secondary coil there is also another capacitor so that particular capacitor also charged due to the charge from the first capacitor so guys over here in this case that particular the output we get over here in tesla coil that is in pulses there will be no continuous output we get over here in tesla coil so to solve that particular problem over here over here at the beginning of this video i have used the term that is the resonance transformer circuit so what is the actual meaning of resonance resonance is nothing but the continuous the continuous output continuous voltage so over here we can use this particular uh, capacitor but we can use this rotary type capacitor in the rotary type capacitor there are the series of the capacitor and this particular rotary type capacitor we use over here so due to that what happens the when the first uh, when the first uh, capacitor discharges the second capacitor charges so this is the alternating way to carry out this particular uh, like the charging and discharging process over here in case of capacitors so guys this is the working of the tesla coil basically and we have seen this particular tesla coil in two wire configuration so guys also we can manufacture this particular tesla coil in one wire configuration also but the out resulting output will get more in case of this uh, two wire configuration rather than in one wire configuration so guys that was the overall working of the tesla coil so this particular when we uh, like carry a bulb near nearer to our tesla coil the bulb actually glows without having a physical connection over here so now this particular tesla coil is like used in various kinds of the industries such as which is used in spark gap erosion or else it is used in a spark gap generation process the main use of tesla coil into the x-rays the x-ray is also using the same kind of technology that is nothing but the electromagnetic induction so over here these are the light rays you know this focus on one object and uh, the like the high voltage is applied between that particular vacuum tube in case of x-rays so this this is the overall the same principle over here in case of x-rays we also need a high voltage so that's the that's the reason basically this tesla coil can be also applicable in x-rays also in case of the fluorescence technology like the neon light tesla also manufactured this particular neon lights also so this particular neon lights this also uses this particular high voltage so this is the main reason tesla coil is also compatible with the neon lights this is also the another uh, application of this tesla coil so guys the most of the use of this tesla coil which is used in the entertainment industry to carry out this particular electrical uh, electrical clouds electricity clouds are formed by the electricity and lightnings lightning shows so this is the main use of the tesla coil nowadays but rather than the tesla coil is the you know it is a far more higher level of the thinking by mr nikola tesla so suppose if i build a tower between the city and if i say that right now i'm going to give you a free electricity what will you think here i will you will think that this is oh wow that's uh, that's so much amazing right now but like this is having a uh, various problems over here the drawbacks of this particular tesla coils like there is no like the flow of this electricity there is a no conductor like when we uh, flow electricity through the conductor it will be we know that the electricity will flow in a predetermined path basically but over here in this tesla coil there is no path no fixed path to flow that particular electrons from one position to another position so that's why it can cause more damage so guys there is no considerable path to flow this particular electricity from one location to another location so guys that is the main drawback of this tesla coil so guys i hope you understood this particular simple but a very little com complicated design of this particular tesla coil so guys if you have any doubts any queries you can comment below and guys please do subscribe to my educational channel ingenious academy so guys thank you so much for watching my video guys